Another use for adjustment clips I use over and over is to hide jump cuts. See, when you have a jump cut in your timeline, the oldest trick in the book is to zoom in on one of your clips to make it look like you switch camera angles. But when you do this, one important thing to remember is to keep it looking natural, you need to keep your eye line consistent. Instead of zooming in on the clip itself, I like to add an adjustment clip and make the adjustments on the adjustment clip. First, I'll use my adjustable guides from my Final Cut Pro Essentials Toolkit and mark where my eyes are in my frame. I'll then select my adjustment clip, zoom in on it, usually about 20 to 30%, and adjust the framing to match up my eye line. There's a couple of advantages to this. One is if I have more clips after my adjustment clip that I want to keep the same size, instead of making all the same adjustments to them, I can just stretch out my adjustment clip over them. Since the transform parameter changes were applied to the adjustment clip, they transfer over to every clip under it, so my framing remains the same. And two, if later on in my project I need to hide another jump cut, I can just go back to the adjustment clip, copy it, and paste it over that jump cut. If you have lots of jump cuts, this can save you a ton of time.